guys, I'm Amanda, the Botanical Brunette, and welcome to my channel. So you guys may notice my video quality is a little bit better. I learned that I can film in 4K on my camera. <laughs> Here you go, crystal clear Botanical Brunette. Since we knocked out the first month of 2021, I would go ahead and show you my plants that I gathered in the first month of 2021. This is going to be something that I'm going to do every month. So I'm going to basically kind of show you all the plants that I get in a month, even if I don't get any plants. There's times where I'll go into like a plant freeze or kind of a, a break from buying plants. So we'll kind of go into all of that, but every month look forward to a plant haul from me because it's gonna happen. So the first month of January, I think was a pretty good success. I wound up getting two of my wishlist plants that if you've seen my recent repot with me, you will kind of know. So spoiler alert, if you've seen that, you'll know two of the plants that I'm gonna show you today. But if you haven't, it's gonna be a surprise. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the plants that I got in the first month, January, 2021. But before I get into that, please like and subscribe and share this video. I have noticed a lot of like newcomers to my channel and I welcome you guys all. I'm really excited to see my channel grow and really excited to just kind of grow with you guys. No pun intended, but let's get into it my plants that I bought in 2021. So the first plant that I got in 2021, which side note, I am cheating a little bit with this. So I technically bought these in 2020, but I picked them up in 2021. So I'm gonna just throw them in as my first plant purchases of 2021 first plant that I got in 2021 and I got them together so no particular order but I got this philodendron Brazil <sighs> the variegation on this plant is just amazing like so look at this leaf like I can't even handle that like it's just so pretty oh now honestly I don't really love like the yellow variegated plants and I was kind of hesitant on getting this. I do have a cream splash that I'm trying to revive, but um, yeah, I was like, you know what? Let me get the Brazil and like, let me see if I absolutely love it. And I do 100%. And this thing has like, I don't know if you guys can see all that, but it has like new growth throughout like everywhere like just popping with new growth so i'm really excited to see this like start to trail in 2021 because i know that's probably gonna happen with the amount it's already growing and it's january plants don't typically grow super fast in the winter so we're excited for this guy i will also do an update probably in like six to eight months to kind of see where this is going. You could also follow me on Instagram and you can also see like I post stories and I post updates all the time on my plants. So you'll be able to kind of see where this guy goes before that. The next plant that I got was also the same order as the Brazil and that is my cactus fern. This fern, fern <sighs> This cactus fern I was really excited about because I've been seeing this all over Instagram. I've been seeing people posting it and it's just like this big like trailing, luscious, beautiful like jungle girl. And I'm just like really kind of excited to start to see this grow. Just like the Brazil, I almost kind of like to get plants that are maybe kind of like not super mature because then I get to kind of grow with them. And that's that's like super like cool. And you'll be able to kind of look back on your pictures and see like where it started and where it is now. So I have noticed that it is starting to kind of curl down. So hopefully it starts to trail soon, but just the like the, the like luscious, like green stems of this plant is just incredibly beautiful. Like I'm super excited to see where this goes. And it's also a super easy plant to take care of, both the Brazil and the fern cactus. It's very standard like care. You know, they need to be watered. Again, it is the winter. So they need to be watered like every, I don't know, like seven to 15 days. I kind of check on them once a week, still keeping in that summer routine. 
but I check on them once a week and typically they don't really need it. They're kind of like on the borderline of like needing water. So I kind of check on them like a few days after. So yeah, those are two plants that I got in 2021. That is the first order that I got in 2021. The next plant or plants that I got in 2021. And again, if you've seen my repot with me, kind of spoiler alert, you'll know what these plants are, but it is my yellow lime Maranta. I am absolutely in love with this plant. And you guys can even see if you watch that video, if you watch the repot with me, you can see that I have already developed like two leaves. I have these like two little like baby leaves that are growing. And I also have three like shoots coming out. So, I mean, this plant is ready to go. Like it is super happy in its new home. It, like I said, I mean, it's kind of popped out another leaf since that video, I think actually two leaves, but it's super happy. So I even noticed like last night with the Maranta, it's kind of weird when you get a plant that prays because sometimes it has to almost adjust and I noticed that the first like few weeks that I had it, it wasn't like praying at night, like fully. It was just kind of moving a little bit. And then last night I noticed that it just like was like, like completely praying and super happy. So that made me happy. So the next plant, and again, in my repot with me video is my begonia polka dot plant. I know this has another name that begins with an M. I'll put it up here. I don't know how to pronounce it. You guys know me with the scientific names. I need to work on that better. I know that. But this is the begonia polka dot plant that I got. She is my rehab. I got her from Lowe's. If you guys didn't watch that video, I got her from Lowe's and we've lost a leaf. She's doing okay. Again, this may not be the best match for me because I am an overwaterer and I do have kind of issues with plants with humidity, even though I live in Florida and my house usually maintains like 50 to 60% humidity. I know that's not great for mold growth, but it's okay. But some plants are still kind of unhappy. So this plant is just gonna take a little bit of time to adjust, but we still have some new little baby leaves. I'll show you that. So those new little baby leaves are kind of still popping through. She's still pretty crispy, but you can hear that crunch. Oh. Ugh. But I mean, she's adapting. And she was also the plant um, that had that like uh, kind of netting inside of the root. So hopefully, but she does have, probably too small to see, but she does have little like buds that are kind of popping up. So hopefully we can revive her. Again, follow me on Instagram and you can kind of see the progression. I will post her probably at least once a week. I try to get all my plants showcased on my Instagram, but this plant will definitely make an appearance here and there. And you'll kind of be able to see like new leaves and everything as well. And then my last plant that I got in January is a plant that I actually already have in my collection, but I don't have this variety of it. And you know me, I guess I have to collect every variety of every plant all the time. Just like I did with the Brazil, I have the cream splash, but I had to have the Brazil. Now I want the Rio. I have to have the whole family, right? Which makes sense for me to get the Monstera Ansoniae wide leaf. I have behind me in the planter with the adorable little painted face, I have the narrow leaf, but I had to get the wide leaf for one reason. And the reason being is this beautiful pot from SAJ Ceramics has this wide leaf Monstera and Sonii kind of like look to it. And I absolutely wanted to make sure that I replicated that leaf. So. Again, this plant is super like easy to care for. It, this one is in my kitchen, so it does have a little less light than the one behind me, but the one behind me is probably my fastest growing plant. That plant grows so quickly that I just like, and I, I cut and prop that plant all the time, and I still have tons of growth. 
Like it's crazy. Like it, it, it just, it rewards me every day with new growth. So hopefully this one will do the same. I haven't had this plant very long. It's still sort of adjusting to the pot, but absolutely in love with the planter, the plant, everything. So but that's it. That's my plant haul of January, 2021. So I'm really excited to see what the year brings and like what kind of plants I get. And uh, sorry to my husband who is going to watch this video and see all the plants that I got in January. So, <gasps> but I hope you guys all have a great day and 